everybody. Today we are going to be learning Shooting Stars by Rival Songs, an amazing song by an amazing band. Uh, we're going to look at the acoustic parts and also the electric parts, so I hope you have fun playing this song once you learn it. Let's do it. So, in this video lesson we're going to be checking out the acoustic parts and the electric parts, but I'm only going to divide the video in two parts, one for the acoustic and one for the electric section because the chorus and the verses are pretty tight to the, together. Uh, that way it's better for me to explain it. Um, so chords, you need a B minor, by the way we're on a standard tuning so everything is, no, is normal about that. So B minor, A major, and E major. Okay, the B minor chord is going to be a bar from the A string down to the high E string on the second fret, first finger, then middle finger on the B of the third fret, and a pinky and ring finger on the G and the D of the fourth fret. Okay, that's your B minor chord. Then the A major is gonna be open A and open high E, and on the second fret you play the D, the G, and the B, either with a bar or with a pinky, uh, sorry, not pinky, first finger, middle finger, and ring finger. And then your E major is going to be open low E, high E, B, first finger on the G of the first fret, second finger on the D of the second fret, and middle finger on the A of the second fret. Those are the three chords for the verses. Uh, then for the chorus you're also going to need a D major chord. Okay. So on the second fret you're going to play the G and the high E, and on the third fret the B, and also the open D string. So the four chords again are B minor, A major, E major, and a D major. That's all you need to play this song. Uh, then, for the intro, this doesn't happen. Well, no. Well, this is not happening on the studio version. This happens on on a live version. I'm using also to to learn that I was using to learn the song. Uh, Jay, what he's doing is he's playing the B minor. While, while he's playing, he's removing his first finger and playing that A string open. And then he's putting his first finger back again, what it was, to give this motion. Okay, that's kind of like an intro you can use if you're only playing this song by yourself. Uh, because as we know, on the studio version, the guitar doesn't come right away when you start the song. Uh, but when it does, when, when the guitar comes, it's gonna be playing B minor, A major, E major, back to E minor. That's the whole cycle. Acoustic live versions, Jay is playing the chords a lot of times on a 12 string guitar, and Scott is doing different licks with uh, something he uses to slide, and also he's playing the same chords but he's playing note for note, like an arpeggio, like this. So it's pretty random, there are, it, those are some dynamics you can use to make the song different every, every time you play it. Um, or if there are two guitar players, one can strum, can strum the chords and the other one can play note for note, or do some licks on B minor pentatonic, you know? Something like that. Um, then the other part is a chorus, that it's gonna be D, A major, You do the, the run for last time. And you are going to end the 
chorus on that E major. When you go to the next B minor, you actually continue as if, if it were the verse, and you go back to the verses that way. that we there's one little thing we still have to see uh, what the thing you use to go from the verse to the chorus it's you're playing that B minor to end the verse and you play the second fret of the A fourth fret of the A with your ring finger and then you go to that D to start the chorus that way you get this sound so let's say you're on the verses something that also happens on the live acoustic versions okay now let's see the electric parts the solo and we're gonna have everything to play this song the electric section of this song is this are the same chords as the acoustic version but now uh, up on the neck and with a little bit of distortion and we're also gonna check out the solo so the chords are the same but now you're gonna play them this way the B you're gonna play them, uh, you're gonna play the B by doing, well, using your thumb or your first finger to play the low E on the seventh fret, and your pinky and ring finger to play the D and the A on the ninth fret. Okay? Then you're gonna move this shape, whatever shape you use, either the pinky or the ring finger on the low E, it's okay. You're gonna move the, the exact same shape down two frets to play the A and then you're gonna come here and play the E like this. You're gonna use your first finger to play the A on the seventh fret and use either a bar with your ring finger to play B, G and D on the, on the ninth fret or you can play them with your, the pinky middle finger and ring finger. Okay, It's your decision. So this that for the verses with a little bit of distortion. Okay, and then for the chorus, you can either use the same shape you use for the E uh, major down two frets. So now you're on the five uh, on the A and seven on the B, G, and D. Or you, or you can play the same chords as the, uh, the same chords we use on the acoustic section. Okay, uh, that would be everything for the song for the electric part, and then for the. For the solo, you're gonna use first, you're gonna slide to the ninth fret on the D string and play that again. That's the first figure, the next figure. You're gonna slide back from 9 to 7 on the D, play 9 on the A, okay? Then a slide back from 7 to 9 on the D. Play 7 and D, whatever you want. You then are gonna play the G string on the 7th fret two times. You're gonna slide to that if you want to, too. Okay? And you're gonna finish this figure by playing the 9th fret on the D. slide to the 9th fret of the D, play 12 on the B, slide back to 10, play 10 again, then 11 on the G, down to 7 on the G, and then 7 to 9 on the G, slide, 
and then nine on D. Then the last figure is this one, but you're gonna repeat that three times, where the almost the last figure uh, is gonna be a bend on the 12th fret of the high E. You kill the bend once you reach the note, uh, the F sharp. Then play the 10 on the high E. Then 12 on the B, 10 on the B, 12 on the B, 10 on the high E, and 12 on the B. And the last figure, you're gonna slide from the 10th fret, sorry, from the 12th fret down to the 7 on the B. Then uh, 7 to 10 on the B. Then 10 to 5. 5 to 7. And then play 7 to finish the solo. And that would be everything for um, shooting. Everybody, that's everything for shooting stars by Rival Sons. It's the 31st of December of 2019, so Happy New Year, everybody. Let's get ready for a new era of amazing things, and see you next time. Bye-bye.